This is what the live preview looks like when the post-shot program drains the Gaussian splatting model. But did you notice that? What was that grey flash? And in a moment, there, it happens again. Did you notice? What is it? Did we just see some kind of a coast? And is it possible to stop the training for that exact moment? Hello boys and girls, it's Olli here again. This time I'd like to show you an interesting and cool discovery that I managed to make appear by accident while experimenting with Gaussian splatting training. It is a special opacity check that seems to happen very regularly as the training process progresses. When you closely follow the training process in the live preview window, you will notice that at some point all the splats turn grey, or in other words transparent, for a very short moment. When I investigated this covery more closely, I noticed that it happens again and again, exactly every 3k steps. And this phenomenon looks very exciting if you manage to stop the training at the very moment. I call it the coast wall effect. At this stage, all splats are transparent and it brings out the whole 3D model in a fascinating new way. It is not the usual point cloud or wireframe view, but the entire Gaussian splatting structure is visible in a special way and you can see through the walls. This effect creates an artistic view that resembles an X-ray image with colors. It's like a negative image where the colors are reversed, but if you look more closely, that is not what it is about. The 3D structure and contours are still recognizable, but the opacity of the inside of the shapes is gone. I think this is a very cool and stylish looking effect. It reminds me of some kind of a superpower or supernatural ability to put yourself in a negative space and see things through the walls and structures. This could very well be a visualization of a special effect from a sci-fi movie or a TV series. But of course there is not any supernatural phenomena in here, but rather a self-optimizing calculation step that is determined to happen in the training algorithm. When I asked Yasha Wetzel, the developer of the PostShop program, about this issue on Discord, he wrote that it is an opacity reset which is done to measure to remove potential floaters. The Gaussian splatting training algorithm includes a function where it regularly checks the opacity value of the Gaussians. If this value is too low, the splat will be removed completely. In this way, the rendering cleans out floating artifacts and at the same time optimizes the accuracy of the model. And that step in the process appears as a transparent moment. There is a possibility how you can make this ghost wall effect visible and stop the training just at the moment. It currently has to be done manually by pressing a button and requires precision as the coast moment is only visible for a very short time. So closely follow the rendering process in the live preview. Every time you notice that there is that grey flash in the training process, check right away the value of the iteration steps in the bottom corner. It happens on every integer number, but between every 3k steps. So you can calculate next target value from there. For example, 
If the reading is running at 24.03 or something, the next time the opacity reset will take place at the value 27.0. So when the step values start approaching this reading, hit the pause training button. If you manage to stop the calculation slightly below the whole number, let's say to the value of 26.99, you can proceed step by step by double clicking the pause button until the transparency appears in the live preview window. If values runs over, don't worry, you can try it again after the next 3k steps. When you finally succeed in this pausing game, I recommend that you save the situation or export the model as a PLY file. The transparent coast model remains visible so far, unless you continue the training again. This is my method to bring out the coast wall effect in this particular version of PostShot. But Yasha slightly hinted in our Discord conversation that he could program somewhere in the future versions an option that would make this effect appear more easily. That would be a very nice feature. Big shout out to Yasha, you have done a great job. Bowshot is an excellent application for calculating Gaussian splatting locally. And at the end, I would also like to say a big thank you to all of you viewers. I noticed that recently the number of my YouTube followers exceeded the significant 10k milestone. I'm very taken by it and it is great that there are so many of you out there who are interested in my videos. It's good to move forward from here. So thanks for watching this video. And let's do some impressive experiments with the ghost wall effect. Until the next time, goodbye.